Srimad Bhagavatam, translated with commentaries by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. The Preface We must know the present need of human society. And what is that need? Human society is no longer bounded by geographical limits to particular countries or communities. Human society is broader than in the Middle Ages, and the world tendency is toward one state or one human society. The ideals of spiritual communism, according to Srimad Bhagavatam, are based more or less on the oneness of the entire human society, nay, on the entire energy of living beings. The need is felt by great thinkers to make this a successful ideology. Srimad Bhagavatam will fill this need in human society. It begins, therefore, with the aphorism of Vedanta philosophy, Janmad Yasya Yata, to establish the ideal of a common cause. Human society at the present moment is not in the darkness of oblivion. It has made rapid progress in the field of material comforts, education, and economic development throughout the entire world. But there is a pinprick somewhere in the social body at large, and therefore there are large-scale quarrels even over less important issues. There is need of a clue as to how humanity can become one in peace, friendship, and prosperity with a common cause. Srimad Bhagavatam will fill this need, for it is a cultural presentation for the re-spiritualization of the entire human society. Srimad Bhagavatam should be introduced also in schools and colleges, for it is recommended by the great student devotee Prahlad Maharaj in order to change the demonic face of society. Komaram acharet pragno dharman bhagavatani ha durlabam manusam janma tad ap yadruvam artadam Bhagavatam 761 Disparity in human society is due to lack of principles in a godless civilization. There is God, or the Almighty One, from whom everything emanates by whom everything is maintained and whom everything is merged to rest. Material science has tried to find the ultimate source of creation very insufficiently, but it is a fact that there is one ultimate source of everything that be. This ultimate source is explained rationally and authoritatively in the beautiful Bhagavatam or Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is the transcendental science not only for knowing the ultimate source of everything, but also for knowing our relation with him and our duty towards perfection of the human society on the basis of this perfect knowledge. It is a powerful reading matter in the Sanskrit language and it is now rendered into English elaborately, so that simply by a careful reading, one will know God perfectly well, so much so that the reader will be sufficiently educated to defend himself from the onslaught of atheists. Over and above this, the reader will be able to convert others to accept God as a concrete principle. Srimad Bhagavatam begins with the definition of the ultimate source. It is a bona fide commentary on the Vedanta Sutra by the same author, Srila Vyasadev, and gradually it develops into nine cantos up to the highest state of God-realization. 
The only qualification one needs to study this great book of transcendental knowledge is to proceed step by step, cautiously, and not jump forward haphazardly like with an ordinary book. It should be gone through chapter by chapter, one after another. The reading matter is so arranged with its original Sanskrit text its English transliteration, synonyms, translation, and purports, so that one is sure to become a God-realized soul at the end of finishing the first nine cantos. The tenth canto is distinct from the first nine cantos because it deals directly with the transcendental activities of the personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. One will be unable to capture the effects of the tenth canto without going through the first nine cantos. The book is complete in twelve cantos, each independent, but it is good for all to read them in small installments, one after another. I must admit my frailties in presenting Srimad Bhagavatam, but still, I am hopeful of its good reception by the thinkers and leaders of society on the strength of the following statement of Srimad Bhagavatam. Quote, on the other hand, that literature, which is full with descriptions of the transcendental glories of the name, fame, form, and pastimes of the unlimited Supreme Lord, is a transcendental creation meant to bring about a revolution in the impious life of a misdirected civilization. Such transcendental literatures, even though irregularly composed, are heard, sung, and accepted by purified men who are thoroughly honest. End quote. Om Tat Sat Signed, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. Dated at Delhi, December 15th, 1962.